Developing right now, police are going door to door searching vacant Detroit homes for two missing children. One week ago tonight, their mother was found murdered. Police are looking for six year old Kayla Hunter and her eight month old brother, Christian Justice. Seven Action News reporter Simon Shakehead is live on the city's west side tonight where the search is going on. And how's it going out there, Simon? Carolyn, good evening. Actually, those searches just ended a short while ago, and I can tell you that it all started after a tip came in to this precinct right behind us. Tense moments tonight as Detroit police comb a neighborhood, responding to a tip related to two missing children whose mother was found murdered. Check everything, even check the empties on uh, every block. When I saw it on the news, I wanted to get in touch with the family because that's how bad it hurt me. Although the info from a tipster was vague, police quickly got out with several squad cars down to Strathmore near Six Mile and checked out vacant homes. Police tell us a tipster claimed six-year-old Kayla Hunter and eight-year-old Christian Justice may have been left in that area. But after a couple hours, nothing discovered. It hurts my heart. When I seen them down there, I was like, you know, what's going on? You know, but I thought like, okay, they're looking for the kids. The children's mother, 27-year-old Alicia Fox, had been found shot to death in a vacant home on Penrod last Monday. Aaron Justice, her husband and father to the 8-year-old boy, has since been arrested in Atlanta in connection with the mother's murder. A second man, police also say, was involved after the fact, is in custody facing charges here locally. Police say Justice will face first degree murder when he returns. And as for the search and others to follow. This is like a family community around here. Everybody knows each other. And if the kids were somewhere around here, I'm sure my neighborhood would come through. And family members tell us they will be doing more searches as early as 10 a.m. tomorrow. Stay with us as this story unfolds. Live on Detroit's Northwest Side, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. All right.